What is going on guys, it's CRT Specialist here today, and I'm bringing you actually some Kill Confirmed. It's a little bit longer gameplay. Um, kill Confirmed, I really don't play too much just because of how many campers I run into. But um, the next few vids that I have, I pre-commentated over them. Um, just because uh, I'm going to be unavailable to do commentaries and stuff for the next few days. Um, but I still want to give you guys a video a day. Um, so anyways, um, I know I did a video yesterday over the YouTube changes that they have made. Um, since then, um, uh, my last video, uh, or the video that I talked about YouTube in and the live stream I did both have been blocked for, uh, monetization. Uh, like I said, I don't make a, a living or money off of YouTube. Um, but in my opinion, I still think that's kind of bullshit. Um, if YouTube's going to block the videos just because of the game sound that you can sometimes hear, um, then we'll do a test. Uh, this video won't have any sound in the background of Call of Duty. Um, I'm totally cranking it down to nothing uh, and see if I can monetize it. Because in that case, if that's, if that's what's going to happen... Um, if I, if it still gets flagged, then it's the gameplay, it's not just the audio, which the copyright that's been going around is just for the music and song creators and stuff like that. Um, I'm sorry, but unless I'm popular and my, I copyright myself, um, then it's gotta be the gameplay. And in my opinion, if they're gonna block gamers from YouTube, um, I, <laughs> I think that we need our own platform to upload videos, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, possibly make money off of. Because, like I said, I mean, I don't plan on making YouTube a career, but it would be nice. It would be nice to make just that little bit of money for the effort people are putting towards their videos. I'm not saying I put a ton of effort. Um, I do commentaries over a video that I've got. Um, that doesn't take a lot of effort. I'm not doing no mass editing, stuff like that. I don't have the time to pick up and learn the editing software to be able to do what I want to do with my videos. Um, I know that's going to obsolete pretty much montages and stuff like that because a lot of montages, I mean, who does commentary over a montage? I mean, I guess I could be the first person to do commentary over a montage because, I mean, I've got tons of clips saved up. I was going to edit them together. Um, and kind of create a little montage, but, uh, I mean, I could still put some music, it may be flagged for, I can't monetize it, um, which I'm fine with that, um, like I said, I don't care if they flag my videos, I'm gonna still upload, as far as the live streaming goes, I mean, if, if I'm gonna get flagged for the, the game sound, I mean, at, there's Twitch, um, like I said, in the past, I don't, get as many viewers on my live stream on Twitch, but hey, if that's the platform I need to go to, that's the platform I need to go to. Uh, in my personal opinion, and I've always thought this, um, th since there's so many networks out there paying gamers to upload videos and stuff like that, why don't those networks as a whole make a platform or website and stuff as a whole to for gamers specifically to upload? Um, I mean, I'm not saying that gamers can't throw in a few vlogs and stuff like that, but overall, we need our own platform, um, because in my opinion, YouTube kind of, I'd say, boycotts gamers on YouTube. I know every year they do their little rewind, and only one gamer made it there. That's only because they're the top, one of the top subscribed on YouTube, period. Doesn't matter which, pla or which, uh subcategory they're uploading to that's the only reason why they made it um out of all those other youtubers there's there's people in the gaming community that are on youtube that are more subscribed than some of the people that made it to uh that youtube rewind yet we were never included um so youtube in my opinion kind of looks down on gamers uploading to youtube um I mean, what they don't understand, I mean, these these YouTubers that are making tons of videos, tons of good content, 
making a living and uh, and have a solid subscriber base are br channeling money to a YouTube and b they're promoting these games for people the newer generations of people that are starting to pick up cod battle for battlefield um and stuff like that are picking them up because of YouTube in my opinion they like first person shooters they'll watch people's videos and then go out and buy the game and some of those end up turning into people that do commentaries on videos and bring YouTube more money so I don't understand why YouTube is going to maybe pinpoint gamers like I said I will do a test this game i have cranked the audio way down and if they still flag my video that I can't monetize it then it's not because of the game audio it's because of the game play that's in the game um, like I said because I'm not that famous to block copyright myself but uh let me let me know what you guys think on the subject um do your own research or if you've heard anything else let me know i would love to know a lot of these changes are said to go in effect on january 1st but here we are still december and some of these rules have already been put in place i mean it took my video uh i know i checked last night and before I went to bed that it it still wasn't monetized normally it's like a 20 30 minute and it's monetized uh, so the changes are there um, but like I said let me know what you guys think um, games about to end um, like I've said in the past uh, some of these commentaries are pre-recorded so I may not touch back on this subject because I won't know until later so in a few days I'll let you guys know what's going on um, or you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and I'll upload there on the deal because I can check that stuff straight from my phone. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.